Well, festival goers in downtown Hannibal who enjoy drinking while taking in the sites could gain more freedom. That's because Hannibal City Council considers an ordinance to expand the drinking area at downtown events. KHQA's David Amalotti joins us live in the studio to explain how it would work. Raj, it's going to benefit a lot of people, from the residents of Hannibal to tourists and even downtown businesses who help with the 25-plus events that the area hosts. Now, city manager Jeff Lagarde tells me this isn't a city-wide bill. It's, it's, it's going to be targeting specific event areas. Owner of the Mark Twain Brewery, Bill Martin, has two loves, his beer and festivals. He says events in downtown Hannibal have limited success because visitors are restricted with alcohol. We'll set up outside, but often people come up and say, now, can I take my beer? And I'll have to say, no, I'm sorry, you're going to have to keep it here. He says more freedom would bring more money to the area. If they're going to benefit our community, the tax dollars we receive from that, that those people perceive this as a fun and, and adult place to uh, to come and, and enjoy themselves and wander around. On Tuesday night, Hannibal City Manager Jeff Lagar says a bill was put forth by event sponsors at City Council providing criteria for lighter restrictions. First, the event sponsor has to make a specific mapping request. The event sponsor may ask for, uh, you know, four or five streets where this can happen. Uh, city Council may approve three streets. Um, they may ask for six streets. The City Council may approve six streets. Secondly, a liquor ID has to be provided to ensure illegal drinking won't happen. And the third thing is they have to provide signage at all the main entryways into the event. Lagar says events will be approved based on the type of the event and maintaining community safety. This relates only to festivals and special events. It's to give patrons and visitors to the events a little bit more elbow room, a little bit more liberty when they're attending these events, to not have to stand in the crowd or not be able to cross a line. Lugar says that line would be concurrent with the event area or a smaller designation made by the event sponsors. The second reading of this ordinance to, uh, will take place on August 18th to become law. Reporting live in the studio, David Amelotti, KHQA News.